So here we are introducing a new component called run model that you can drag and drop inside the uh, canvas. And here you have the following parameters. Uh, first is the model. It's a drop down where you can see all your connected models and you also have the ability to connect the new model. So let's jump back here and select already existing model. Next is advanced prompt, which is uh, by default turned off. And when it's turned off, the model input can be only one component. And for the current implementation, we support only uh, text input components, which are markdown, text area, code, paragraph, and text import. So in the dropdown, you will see all the text input components that currently are inside the canvas. And the markdown and the field is uh, searchable, so you can just type and it will be uh, filtered by, by typing. So you are choosing the model input and then the next is the model output, which is again uh, another drop down, which is for the current implementation only. We are supporting only text. So you can choose the output component and then basically it's ready to go. Whenever the advanced prompt is turned on, this model input uh, transforms from just one input field to a prompt builder where you can basically build your prompt. And when you are building it, you can include multiple variables, multiple components, where, which will be replaced with, with their values on the uh, runtime. So to not go over it like uh, here I have already set it up two workflows that I would like to demo you here first one is a simple flow and here I have one basic uh, input and I have added the button I named it like generate sample prompt the model is GPT-40 mini the temperature we can set up the temperature like 085 or something uh, the model input is the simple input, which is in this case, this uh, input. And the model output is prompt, which is uh, this one. So the prompt is the ID of this markdown output. And here I have created another AI, uh, another run model button with the GPT-5 mini. And here the input uh, model input is prompt, which is the uh, basically the output of the first uh, model first button and the model output is the uh, this one which is the AI response basically and for the advanced, advanced flow I have set up the uh, basically the translator this is for synthetic data generation and here I have a simple uh, source text that I can fill in I have a radio button that will be the target language that the model will be will translate I have the button that uh, I have connected to GPT-40 mini with the temperature, the advanced prompt is on. And here with what I said, I said translate the following text into the language. Language is basically this uh, radio components ID. And this language will be later replaced with the value of this component. And the text is the source text, which is this component and basically on the runtime it will take this text and translate it with this toggle with this language and for the second button i have uh, set up the following i said summarize the following text into a single sentence of maximum 300 characters and the text is the translated text which is uh, basically this uh, component few things to note before moving on to the annotators interface. First, the components can be an input or output output component only if they are outside of groups. So if they are inside the groups, they will not appear in the output component or input component. Second, uh, 
When the advanced prompt is on and you have this prompt builder interface, there is multiple ways to add the variable. The first is to click to this button where that will open the curly brackets. And here will, will appear all the supported input components. Uh, you can scroll and select one, or you can just type and uh, filter the one you want and click to it and it will add. So if the component is supported and everything is fine, it will appear with the blue sign. If it's not, the red sign will appear. The second version is to manually uh, type the curly bracket and start to uh, type the component name or the component ID. And again, when you click here, it will autocomplete and as it's valid, it will become blue. So whenever the component is invalid, like I'm writing something here and then closing the bracket, it will be highlighted as red and uh, the inline error message will appear. So I should delete this in order to be able to move forward. Another way to uh, make the text as a variable is to select the text and click to this button again. And in this case, as the translate, I don't have any component named uh, with the ID translate. It became highlighted, it highlighted red and I cannot move forward unless I'm deleting this. So uh, with this button supports at least one input and at least one output parameter, output components to be selected uh, in order to move forward. So you cannot just fill in here like plain text and move forward. Next, uh, each com each model has their own parameters. For instance, like GPT-5 series, they don't have the temperature. And when whenever you choose the GPT-5 uh, model, the temperature field will be hidden. And like with GPT-4, the temperature will come back, etc. So this is the annotator's view. And here I have the following prompt input that says generate a prompt that will help me get, generate a 30 second story about Super Annotate's journey, including recent advancements. The story should be a markdown text. So I click here and it takes this uh, text and gives me back this uh, 30 second story prompt ready. So this is basically the prompt. And then with this button, I take uh, this as an input, as a prompt, and it will generate the actual story. Let's see. Okay, we got the text. Uh, now I will copy this text, go to the advanced flow, put it, this text as a source text, use the target language Armenian, and we'll translate this text to Armenian. Okay, so we translated it here. Uh, I bet most of you don't understand what is written here, uh, but it actually did a good job. And let's uh, summarize this text. Okay, so basically took this text and summarized it uh, with one sentence. So basically this is the same uh, prompt that I gave inside the form builder.